Good morning, everybody. We're in the car at a standstill because of the marathon going on. If we kind of didn't, uh, we knew it was happening, obviously, but we forgot to take this into consideration when we were leaving this morning. Yeah, I think but, it's gonna be like early. But check, show them the let's runners. check out. You can we, you can see these runners coming past and overpass. This is gonna be me 365 days from now. So we are curious because we parked at the boardwalk because we're meeting some, some friends today at the beach club and yacht club and it is, first of all, it's a beautiful day. It's a perfect day for the ride because it's still cool but it's not frigid like it has been but it's beautiful. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's just sunny, cool breeze for the runners but we're about to go see them all because if you go this way because we're at the boardwalk, that's the yacht and beach. They're, all the runners are running across that path like from across the swan through this to Epcot. And we're not sure where the ending is, Sarah said she might think that the ending is at Epcot. So. But we're not positive, so don't quote us. Yeah, but this is something good to know, like if you're planning a trip when there's different marathons going on, that it could affect some of your plans. Right, affect plans and bus times, because what we noticed is uh, World Drive, which is the main street that gets you to Epcot, Magic Kingdom, Kingdom Hollywood Studios, the uh, first summer for a lot of the resorts that take that they were being rerouted to go all, all the way by Animal Kingdom to get to Magic Kingdom or Epcot because of parts of the roads being closed. So it's, a, it's a, just affecting the morning. I think all the roads will be over by 1 or 2 p.m. But at least for the first half of the day, um, definitely some, some wait times and, and things extended. But it's all good and, and good fun. It's really awesome that they do this but run, it. and a lot, they, the, all the runners that we've seen are having a blast, and there's, it's amazing to hear the people cheering and everything. Woo! Married 26.2 years, huh? That's funny. Check out these runners, still going strong. Been going since 5.30 this morning. I think they're almost done. Yeah, I've got, I think we clarified that. So we just met one of our one of our viewers, Melissa. Thank you so much. Yeah, she's from Canada and we did a little button exchange and she knows us well. So thank you so much. We literally I didn't even open up but I opened it. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna snack on a couple right now. Yeah. Gifts. Gifts we can have. Yeah. Maple? It's healthy because it's from a tree. And it's in the shape of a leaf. We're heading over to uh, Beach Club, right? Or Yacht Club. No. Heading over to Yacht Club to go to Ale and Compass with some of our friends that we've been wanting to meet for well over a year now. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And we left the runners, so hopefully they're all done by the time we get out, but it'll be fun to see them if not. Yeah. I am so mentally ready for next year. Like, I know it's going to be a lot of work between now and then. I know it's going to be a lot of work between now and then. I just know that I can do it, and I'm just super pumped to do it. And then, we're gonna, I'm gonna treat myself and go swimming in this pool after the marathon. I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, we'll try to, I think I wanna stay at a resort for a night or two during the weekend. Well, it's perfect day. Go do a marathon after the Dopey Challenge. Go swimming at Stormalon, Stormalon Bay? Yeah. Alright, here's the menu. There's the cocktails, main plates for dinner. It's a little different than what we had, but here's the some more of the menu here. Well, there's the lunch menu. That's what we had, the lunch menu. But this is Alan Compass restaurant, which is newly refurbished and opened up. We walked through it before we went to, uh, on my birthday. Yeah, we showed it to you guys. We want to show you the menu and show you what we ate today and talk a little about it. It was delicious. Yeah. Mine was like a fancy Earl of Sandwich holiday sandwich. It was turkey, cranberry sauce, some sort of mayo delicious. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And salt and vinegar chips that weren't too like potent, like if they weren't super sour. And I had a protein bowl, so that was quinoa, some uh, sweet tomatoes, or sweet potatoes. Um, diced up and then some tomatoes and then there was like a chorizo with this nice sauce yeah, on there. It was like very it. good. Very good portions, like not overwhelming portions like a lot of Disney uh, restaurants do at times. Um, but I think it was a good price point for quality of food plus size. Um, you're not going to go there and get like overly stuffed, but you're going to get good, good tasting, good quality yeah. food. And we did a good job eating well. Yes, and I did, yeah, I had quinoa. Like, I didn't get french fries. 
Right, and I got quinoa and and uh, potatoes. And the potatoes were a small portion of that bowl. But it was mostly protein and quinoa. And then uh, I didn't have a side with it. I was going to do fruit if they asked, but I didn't get my fruit. But we um, went out to lunch with our friends Peter and Marion. And thank you so much for meeting up with us. You guys were great. I can't wait to come out again. I hope we can see you again before you go back home. Um, it's always it's always a blast when I, we meet anybody. So that's why we always say say hi if you see us. Because we They're love it. Canada. They're here a good trip. They've been here since Christmas. We were supposed to meet up with them before the hurricane, yeah, but their but trips. Their trip got yes. They like cruises. Yes. That got affected by Hurricane Irma. So we were. This was a long time coming. So it was a, we had such a great time. Thank you again so much. And it got warm out. It's like 60 or something now. Yeah. Here, but it's nicer. Yeah. Where are we going now? Are we going to Epcot? Do you want to just do a lap around World Showcase? Yeah. Let's see. I think there was like a. I think that's where the marathon ended. Let's see if there's any any fun stuff going on. Yeah. Okay, so our friends Marion and Peter gave us these twiglets. I don't know how I feel about them yet. They're definitely, Sarah just bit into her first one and she's disgusted, but I think I could eat them. And it tastes like coffee grounds. It kind of tastes like wheat, because they're wheat. It tastes like wheat with coffee grounds, I don't know. That's a really good way to put it. Has this always been here? Nope, I don't think so. Uh, it looks old. It's not new. Why? Why have we never seen it? I can finish this. Acquired taste, for sure. Yeah, let me finish this. Oh, uh, yeah. Starts on the 12th. We'll circle back around. Sorry, I just choked a little bit on this. Twiglets. <laughs> I'm not getting a coffee today, even though we're going to the DVC lounge. We're gonna get our little bit of pop intake for the day. I think I'm doing a, a seltzer water, a spritzer. Ooh. Um, but I only, I'm limiting my caffeine intake as well. And I've already over exceeded it today. What do you think of the new chairs in the DVC lounge? I love it. It's yeah. been a while since we've been up here, right? Oh, yes. I'm not sure. Look, we. Middle, because it closes at five, and I think we only came during Epcot during the weekend, during the week. Yeah. We'll cut, we'll get back in the swing. <laughs> There's two very important things going on right now. There's that man on top of that stack of chairs, and it's super windy, and they're still doing it because he's awesome. And that crowd is huge. And Sarah just pointed out something that's, that I wanted to, that I wanted to get get on the vlog, and it's a, it's awesome that we're here. And that crowd is literally huge. We had to walk around it. It's blocking like the road. And that's awesome because we've been here where there's been like five or six people. Yeah. Which is still awesome because it's like a more intimate experience, but Disney World wouldn't be here if it was five people You're in that like crowd proud every day. Of it, like Part of it no matter what. I'm just like a proud dad. <laughs> so our friends we had lunch with today were nice enough to give Evie this present. Get it. 
Just licking it. I'm gonna go do my run. I didn't do it this morning. Sarah's gonna do some design work and play with the doggy dog. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go. I'm a little sore, but I want to go further than yesterday. But there's a lot. The fact that I'm going is the important part. I'll be back. I did it, guys. Oh, hey, Eve. Hey. Hey, I'm gonna get my dog. I got four miles in, non-stop, I don't know. I'm tired, but I did it. This is my biggest fan right here. We're going outside to see, in three minutes, there's a SpaceX launch, and we've, we've never paid attention to a nighttime one to see if, uh, to see if we can see it, because I can see them from my office. So we have a, our phone up with the live stream to see if we can see it. I'm sure from this distance and this, like being on the ground, um, it'll only be able to, let's go by the, the, over there. We'll only be able to see like a small light, but that'll still be cool. So we came over here by this creepy area, as you, if you remember seeing our, uh, hurricane. our hurricane videos, this is the lake we used to gauge how bad the flooding was. T minus a minute and 30 seconds, so it's it's the engine cooling now. And uh, that looks like just a regular Falcon rocket. At the end of the month, they're supposed to launch the Falcon Heavy. It's the, the biggest, baddest rocket ever to launch. And there's a lot of speculation of if it's actually gonna like, take off or not. But it, it's set, it's on the it's on the pad right now. Oh, really? It's three of the rockets, the rocket that we're gonna hopefully see launch tonight. It's ready for launch. Is actually, it's three of those, it's three of those rockets. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Wow. Oh, I see it! Oh! Look at this way, between those clouds, it's gonna come out. You see? Yeah! Oh my god! Look at that! It's super blurry in the camera, sorry guys. There it is. A SpaceX rocket launching. Look at that. Now, see, it's going to go behind the clouds, and I don't know if we'll see it after that because that's I saw it from my office once during the day. Successful it's five kilometers high. Falcon 9 carrying Zuma. We have cleared the tower, so we're now. Oh, it's carrying launch. Zuma. Now, we're going to go through four events here in rapid succession, and those are in order. There's also Disney fireworks going on right now. <laughs> so that's, that's cool. Please, the relinquish control of the camera. Oh, I see it. What? Oh, you see it again? Oh! Because it started the second burner. Wow. Wow, that looks extra cool behind the clouds. So at some point, oh, that's what what we just saw is what freaked out LA the other week when they saw that they thought they saw an alien. <laughs> oh, everyone's clapping at at com Mission Control. Stage one is on its way. It's before midnight and we're going to bed. It's before midnight and we're going to bed. Does anyone else's dog? have a fascination with going under their bed. That's what we're dealing with. My dog does. It was a fast weekend and I wish it wasn't so fast. But it was fun! It was. And we have a fun next weekend planned, right? We have a fun life planned, Peter. We do. Yeah, we do that. Thank you for watching our adventures today. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up. Don't forget to give us that subscribe. Don't forget to check out our podcast. Uh, Dom and I are going to record on Tuesday. And we already addressed the little noisy noise that we had in the first one. So if you listen to it, that will be gone. Also, a lot of the park hours are pretty um, early closing times. Because it's getting um, slow season. It's getting slow season. So... If there's a particular non-park activity that you're really wanting to see, put in the comments. Where I mean, there's obviously always something to Activities do. Activities or resorts, because we'll probably be doing some resorts again. Now that we're kind of in a slow again. season, yeah. Um, but also keep in mind that we usually go to the parks at night, so there's that um, little Caveat. constraint. Yeah. But with that, it's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>